Welcome, folks, to our channel where we search the world over for unique and interesting products and gifts. Well done. I'm Alex. I'm Liz. And together we are Alex, Alex and, and Liz. Liz. Today we are reviewing the Pet Lodge Wire Crate Dog Kennel. So full, sim simple, explanatory, and to the point. Yep. Um, so these dog kennels come in six sizes, correct? Six. Yes. Okay, so what do we have here? We have the. This is a small. Small, and they do come in extra small and that's for a 10 pound breed yep up to 10 pounds for an extra small the small is up to 30 pounds which is this one sure the medium is up to 50 pounds the large is up to 70 and that's, and that's this one this here. size we'll show you in a minute how it comes up um and then the extra large 100 is up to pounds. 100 and then there's a giant which is up to 130 pounds sure so in the price range is anywhere from the extra small being 30 bucks yep to the giant being a hundred bucks yep. so i mean anywhere in there you can kind of yep figure out where it's going to be so we have a yorkie terrier and he weighs only he weighs under 10 pounds but we actually got the small to give him a little more room yeah and then we have a labrador retriever who's about 70 pounds mm -hmm. and we have the large and both of them really love right. their kennels mm -hmm. why don't you keep going and i'm gonna set sure. this thing up it's so, a little bit cumbersome to set up but and yep. i'll probably be making some noise so talk loud okay so with this small size, it doesn't come with, um, you know, sometimes you want like a puppy separator so that, it, so that it grows with the size of the dog. And you, you know, when you have a larger area, um, you know, they may have accidents in there or whatever. So you kind of want to separate it off. And so the larger crate, so if it's a medium up to a giant size crate, then they have that puppy separator so extra small small do not um, we'll get into the pros so in the front here there's a latch and it's a very secure latch you know they would not be able to get that open and the large here has a double latch has double latch and it also has two door two entry um, points to get in yep. so there's one on the side here or one on the front and then one on the side if that makes sense I'm um, that very paranoid dog dad that latches them real lightly in case there's a fire or something. If they did push on it, they could come loose. You know I did that, yeah, didn't you? Yeah, yep. Um, one of the, you know, one of the things that's really nice is that it has a tray on the bottom, like a plastic tray, so that if they were to have an accident mm -hmm. in there, it's easy to just remove the tray and clean that off um, versus, And we you know, know firsthand because we have a Labrador with a very sensitive stomach. Yes. And we've stepped into the doorway and we knew what we were walking into. Not and good. And we've had to haul this thing out, but it comes out clean and it doesn't smell. So. Right. Yeah, so that tray is a major, yep. major plus. Um, and then, like, he just he just pulled that up in a minute, maybe, mm -hmm. you set that up. It takes a and little so, practice. I mean, it's, you're not going to yeah. be good at it right away. But They've got a handle on there. Actually, I mean, they're fairly heavy. This one's real that heavy. One's real heavy. But it's nice that they have a handle so that you can move a little bit easier. And once they're folded up, that handle is nice, like you're carrying a suitcase. Yeah. Um, and then we really like the wire kind of look because it's, you know, easily visible to see them mm -hmm. and for them to see out. It has good ventilation. And Yep, for comfort. Yeah. And if your house just, gets real hot, I mean, imagine if they were in right. a crate without much ventilation. Mm -hmm. It's pretty warm. So um, I think that's kind of all the pros we had. Um, Our dogs love them, like we said. So. Yeah, they have no problem yeah. going into them. They actually, when we say kennel up, they run right in here. So they, yep. we do, just so you guys know, we do put blankets on the bottom. We don't just have them lay on the, yes. that'd be a little little hard to yeah. lay. Yeah, right yeah, they're not the, the most comfortable the things. So we do put a padding down there. Um, getting into the cons, mm -hmm. you want to? Well, they're very cumbersome to carry, especially the large ones, even folded up. Even fold it up, yep. yeah. Especially this, the large ones. Yep. This this one's not so bad. I don't no. even. We didn't even un, We didn't even fold it up because it's so easy to transport. Yeah, it's just easy to carry. This them. morning when I was going to fold this up to get it in the car mm -hmm. to bring it here, I you probably heard me screaming downstairs. I caught my fingers in it. So pinch points. I mean, you're always putting your fingers in the wires. Yeah. So be careful of pinch points. Mm -hmm. Um. Another thing. The tray on the bottom, and we've had it for you know, our we've Labrador. We've probably had it for about four years, these kennels. Yeah. Four our, years. our small, the tray is fine. There's mm -hmm. no breaks in that. But the weight of the our Labrador has kind of broken the tray. There's yeah. 
And like we did say, she is about 70 pounds, maybe even a little bit more. And this kennel is supposed to hold up to 70, so she's like at that limit. Mm -hmm. So maybe that is, you know, just the... Sure. But it, I mean, the wear and tear on it too. So it, we, we should probably replace that, yeah. Yeah, we'll get to that. Uh. So we're gonna rate this a seven out of 10 because I mean, our dogs love it. I mean, mm -hmm. the tray broke, that's kind of a little downer. And Right, but I mean, like we said, they are cumbersome, uh -huh. they're heavy, bulky to carry. But it is nice that they collapse easily. Yeah. Like if you need to take them on the road and just collapses, put it easily in your car. Yeah. I'd say, I mean, um, I think these would be a, if you get a dog, I mean, I'd say a one-time purchase for your dog. I don't see you having to replace them because no. they're, they're unless, pretty well made. Unless your dog's rough and rugged, I don't see you having to replace them too often. Yeah. So we will have a link below where you can get them. We got them at our local Farm and Fleet. And farm and Fleet. You can get them online. Amazon has them. So we'll include a couple different links maybe where you can get them. Yep. Um, subscribe to us. We need subscribers. <laughs> and send us those interesting, unique products and gifts. We'll yep. review them. But what will we be? Totally honest. Totally honest. That's just how we roll. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thanks for watching.